So I'm going to check to make sure everything's hooked up properly with a little hobby voltmeter. You just insert that into there. This will only go up to eight cells at a time, which is fine. <coughs> They're very well balanced so far. A few of these packs I did charge more than the others, so there should be a couple, yeah, like that cell is high, quite a bit higher than the rest. That's because uh, a few packs I charge more than others. So now I'm moving it over eight pins. Hold on a second. Yeah. So I'm not able to, there's going to be uh, two cells that I have to check manually. Okay, so a big test for this whole BMS system will be to see if I can bring these packs are not all the same voltage and that's because I charge them differently and I want to see if this BMS can slowly bring them back uh, back into balance and if it can then it proves that BM this single BMS can handle one kilowatt worth of batteries and uh, if it can't, well, it's, the batteries will stay pretty much the way they are. But we'll find out. So we had a little bit of a mishap. Nothing too crazy, but I arced across my uh, socket. Got some uh, little bit of arcing dust there. Anyways. I'm alright. Everything's alright. Just uh, got to be more careful. I'm going to cover the socket in uh, electrical tape now just to help so this doesn't happen again. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Alright, so this is what I got going for now. I'm giving up for the day. It doesn't look super clean, I know, but uh, it's a work in progress. I've got a tiny bit of solar coming in still, not much. Um, eventually I like to shorten all these wires, but for now this is how it's going to look. Um, we are online again. We are not really charging anymore, but we got 62 volts on the batteries. These were a little higher than these, so these right now are pushing power into these. It was only like 2 volts difference, so it's not a huge deal. Um, and two volts it's in the 60 volts range isn't isn't very big so and I'm gonna keep an eye on the cells on this bank make sure that this can balance them out but we're gonna go inside and we're gonna use a 2000 watt heater it does a really good job of heating and uh, I'm gonna play with that a little bit I'm gonna just set it to 22 Celsius and let it run and uh, that's gonna offset my heating a little bit I'm not usually going to do this. Actually, I might not even do that tonight. Well, that's what I've been doing the past few nights anyways with the one kilowatts of power. I might actually hook my computer and everything into this again because one kilowatt was not enough for an entire day um, of my usage. Two kilowatts, on the other hand, might be. So maybe I'll do that instead. See if two kilowatts is enough usable power. And as you can see, that's about two kilowatts of energy there. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm inside my house. What I have running off the power wall is the projector, the bar fridge, Alienware laptop, Acer laptop. I'm going to turn this on and go look at the garage, uh, see what kind of power usage we're using all together. But the fridge just turned on. Um, 
what else are we running? All my charging stuff in here when I use it. Uh, I'm not using it at the moment, but uh, yeah. So that's what runs off the power wall. And uh, next up will be the heater. Okay, so heater's plugged in. It is now on. Just plugged it in, so I gotta turn it down to the temperature setting that I want. 20 Celsius. Actually, let's go up to, and now it's actually heating. Laptop is on, fridge is on. Let's go look inside the garage. We're in the garage, and the kilowatt meter is complaining. We have 121 volts on the output side, 55 volts on the input. We're using 2,000, oh, 1,800, watts at 2000 per second but now it's 1800 <sighs> what are the kilowatts we used so far 0.35 uh, it's all loose there we go but you can hear a humming that is uh, the inverter it just sounds that it makes but everything seems to be working nicely And all the connections seem to be good. Feel a little bit of warmth coming out the top just because of the natural flow of heat rises. Tiny bit of warmth coming up, but not much. Still nice and cool. And now I'm gonna go inside, check up on the heater. Okay, so we're back inside. This thing pumps out a ridiculous amount of heat. The the part that actually blows out is pretty small, but it's really, really warm, the air coming out. Um, if this is plugged into anything else, like uh, it, I'm going through an extension cord, so I'm losing power, but if you plug this directly in, when it starts up, it takes 2,000 watts by itself with that, without anything else running. But because I'm going through an extension cord, I believe on this end, I'm probably losing about, I don't know, 5 to 10 volts. At 2,000 watts, so that explains why it's only taking about 2,000 watts in the garage. But uh, yeah, this is a very nice heater, and it'll be interesting to see how much I can use this here and there uh, when we finally start getting some sun. But I'm gonna go ahead and turn it down to 20 because that's usually what we keep it at. And then shut it off and it goes through its cool down stage. Gets rid of all the heat before it lets itself shut down. And thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the videos. One more thing I forgot to show you guys that I got. More Black Friday deals. Got this on sale for... Uh, I can't remember. It was under $20. It was like 15 to 20 bucks. It's nice because this is my garage temperature. I can keep an eye on it. Uh, if it gets too cold, I can uh, throw a heater on in there. Um, I'm thinking about insulating it this year, so or at least partially insulating it so that I'm not losing all the nice warm uh, air in the from the vents in the garage and the roof. But anyways, another Black Friday deal.